Hello, I'm Derek Cribb, I'm Chief Executive of the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries and I'm here today to introduce some research that we've recently executed with the National Institute for Economic and Social Research. As a public interest body, we're always very keen to look at research that draws on the actuarial skills and relevance of our profession. And on this occasion, we've been looking at emigration and the affordability of the state pension in the future. We've been delighted that Dr. Angus Armstrong has been able to lead this research on our behalf. One of the key factors here is not just around the impact of reducing or increasing immigration numbers, but actually what would the effect be if we looked at the skill sets that those immigrants bring. So without further ado, I'll hand you over to Angus, who will be able to further develop the model. Thank you, Derek. We're very grateful to the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries for supporting this work. Our research shows that reducing the level of immigration will be harmful for public finances. We show that by reducing net immigration by around 150,000 to about 180,000 will lead to a deterioration in public finances of about three billion pounds per year by 20 32. That will be £8 billion pounds per year by 2057. Now there's a number of ways the government can offset this loss in public finances. One way is to raise the state pension age by about one year. Another way is to reduce the pension payments by about 3.5%. That's about £300 pounds for all new pensioners. And finally, by raising national insurance contributions by about 1.5%. Another interesting finding of our research is that while the immigration impacts are significant for public finances, the public spending on a state pension system under existing demographics are much larger. We estimate that state spending on state pensions will increase by about £90 billion pounds over this period. And therefore, one of the findings from this research is that, of course, immigration is important for public finances, but much more important is a state of public finances under our current public commitments under state pensions. The research also looked at ways that we could mitigate the loss to public finances. One way that this could be done is by improving the skills mix and therefore the likely earnings levels of new immigrants. A typical approach to do this is the so-called Australian points system, where we look for higher qualified and therefore higher earnings immigrants. This of course offsets some of the losses to public finances because they pay more in taxes. And our research shows that how some of the losses can be mitigated if it's possible to go to an Australian point style system. This research was conducted using the Office of National Statistics principal population projections and also a model that we've developed here at the National Institute over the last 10 years which looks at the distributional impacts of public policy. The key effect of this is that we allow for agents for people to change their behaviour in response to a change in public pensions policy. And it's important to be clear that when conducting projections of the long term, there are inevitably uncertainties. If you'd like to find out more about this research, please contact us. We're very grateful to the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries for supporting this work. Thank you. Thank you, Angus. Those are some really complex issues and it's addressing issues like this as a professional body where we feel we've got the independence and the public interest remit to really put out the challenge. And the challenge is there for you as the public and as policy makers to really consider the long-term impact of this research. And we call on you to, to contact us if there's more that you'd like to know. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.